All right, so let's start with the big story that we're tracking on Vion Adesa. We're in a divisive rant against the Black Lives Matter protests in the country. President Donald Trump has criticized the growing cancel culture in the country. In a speech marking the 4th of July at Mount Rushmore, Trump's Independence Day speech coincided with a massive surge with the coronavirus cases in at least seven U.S. states. It was also the day when the pandemic breached Trump's inner circle. But that did not stop the American president from calling out the Black Lives Matter movement. Now, Trump slammed the protesters for speaking out against symbols of colonial and racial history. And he also termed the protesters as nothing more than angry mobs who are trying to erase U.S. history. Our nation is witnessing a merciless campaign to wipe out our history, to fame our heroes, erase our values, and indoctrinate our children. Angry mobs are trying to tear down statues of our founders, to face our most sacred memorials, and unleash a wave of violent crime in our cities. And Donald Trump has also vowed that he will protect America's history at all costs. To make this possible, they are determined to tear down every statue, symbol, and memory of our national heritage. <laughs> That's very true, actually. That is why I am deploying federal law enforcement to protect our monuments, arrest the rioters, and prosecute offenders to the fullest extent of the law. But the U.S. president also announced the establishment of National Garden of American Heroes, a vast outdoor park that will feature the statues of the greatest Americans who ever lived. However, Trump, who has been criticized for his handling of the pandemic, made very little reference to the growing infections of COVID-19. Ironically, thousands of people present at the event also did not follow any social distancing guidelines. Masks were not mandatory at the Mount Rushmore event, despite warnings Mr. by health President. officials. Meanwhile, several protesters blocked a road leading to the monument. Several groups led by Native American activists protested in South Dakota just ahead of the speech. The Native Americans have criticized Donald Trump for celebrating U.S. independence in an area that is sacred to them.